Welcome to our guide for the Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to find the great fairy in the game, what she does, and how she can help you on your quest to save Hyrule. Let's dive in. Segment 1. Finding the Great Fairy To find the Great Fairy, head to Lake Hylia, located east of Sithorn Prairie and north of Sithorn Forest. You'll need to swim to the island in the middle of the lake. There, you'll find a cave with the Great Fairy Shrine inside, plus a handy waypoint near the entrance. Once you're in, you're ready to upgrade. Segment 2. What the Great Fairy Does Now, what does the Great Fairy do? She helps Zelda become more stylish. By speaking to her and selecting the Make Me More Stylish option, you can increase the number of accessories you can equip. Here's the breakdown of how much it'll cost. Two accessories for 100 rupees. Three accessories for 300 rupees. Four accessories for 500 rupees. Five accessories for 1,000 rupees. You'll need a total of 1,900 rupees to unlock the full five accessory slots. Segment 3. Unlocking the Might Bell Accessory Once you've cleared the Elden Dungeon, you can start the Great Fairy's Request Side Quest. She'll ask you to retrieve a pendant, and you'll need to visit Gerudo Town for this. Speak to the NPC in the shop there, and you'll find out you need two items, the Floral Seashell and Magma Stone. After collecting both, return to Gerudo Town, get the lovely pendant, and bring it back to the Great Fairy to receive the powerful Might Bell Accessory. Segment 4. Stocking up on fairy bottles. Lastly, don't forget that fairies gather at the Great Fairy Shrine. Bring your empty fairy bottles here to easily restock and stay prepared for your next adventure. That's it for today's guide on the Great Fairy in Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Make sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful and subscribe for more Zelda tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Hyrule.